Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Convoy L21B and this comes with the XHP 70.3 high. As you can see here, it's a pretty large LED and uh, produces about 4000 plus lumens and it's a new one that Convoy's just released. The L21B's been out for a while. I've got another one that comes with the PM1, COL PM1 emitter and it's a light that's designed for throats, definitely not a very pocketable flashlight. Simon has also released another version of this with the SPT90.2, which I find pretty interesting as well. And I believe that thing's gonna throw a lot further than this one, but it will produce more heat. So that's why I end up getting the XHP 70.3 high version because you still get a good amount of throw, good amount of flood, five amp driver in there. So what more can you want? You've got that great combo of flood and throw. So this one's a pretty good bargain for the price. I mean, it's $38 for the sheer amount of light it produces. And I thought I'd bring out a few other of my Convoy flashlights just to show you the size difference. That on the left is the Convoy M21B. And of course, over here, we've got the Convoy L8, my largest Convoy flashlight. This thing is a monster. Um, and it has an SBT 90.2 LED as well in there so um, it is actually a little bit smaller if you compare the die sizes it's actually a little bit smaller than the xhp 70.3 high in terms of overall construction and quality i mean convoy does not let you down really great value 38 dollars for something like this and at the end of the day you know if you look closely at it fantastic sort of anodizing it's got this you know, more of like a matte black anodizing slight sheen to it. As you can see, there's the Convoy logo just under the head. It's a nice, sleek design. And uh, Joseph from Piercing the Darkness on YouTube, he actually helped Simon design this flashlight I found out recently. So it's a great little light. You can see here the switch, rubber boot. Um, does not have momentary mode though. Um, you know, some little bits of knurling here underneath the head. I think that helps with the heat dissipation and nice little design, knurling on the design and the tail cap as well. Pretty simple. You can actually undo the back of the flashlight here um, and also um, the tail cap. Okay. And I've got mine running with the molly cell p42a okay great thing about convoys is that it's just so easy to open them up and modify them if you want and the bezel pretty simple sort of design and you can actually unscrew it easily and access the led the reflector i'm not going to do that because i don't want to get any dust under there don't have any reason to open it up but for those of you who like to modify flashlights you know that's always a, a great option. And that's a closer up of the XHP 70.3 high. You can see it's made out of four of these smaller die surfaces. And there's a kind of white retaining ring at the base. Smooth reflector, centered absolutely perfectly. No dust on the reflector at all. And anti reflective glass would be nice to have some kind of anti roll feature but I know some people mount these flashlights as well also feels quite elegant to hold so this version comes with the 12 mode selection UI and I've put mine to the second mode so that basically means that you have five modes I think it's 0 0.1 1% 10% 35% and 100 percent so you kind of half press you turn the flashlight on you half press to switch through to the different modes and like i said there's all different types of configurations there's ones that are very simple like if you want to just have it on 100 percent every single time you have the flashlight on um, the mode grouping number 12 allows you to do that there's ones that just have three three um, modes inside so you can just go from like kind of low medium high 
There's ones that have a, a bike sort of blinky mode. There's strobe modes and stuff in there as well. So pretty much something in there for everyone. This light comes with memory mode, which can be disabled. All right, so I've run a couple of ceiling bounce tests. This is the first one, and you can see light turns on 100% and holds its output up until the three minute mark, just after the three minute mark, where the light just ramps down to about 70% of its output at four minutes. So what I did, I just kind of waited for a couple more minutes, tried to reactivate that turbo again, and it does reactivate for like 30 seconds or so, then suddenly drops down to about 50%. Uh, waited for another minute, reactivated turbo another time, and you see that same pattern where the flashlight picks up that it's hot and starts ramping down immediately. And uh, it actually drops to just over 40% of the output. So I'm pretty sure if I just left it on to the first mode, um, just switched it on to turbo and then let it ramp down, it would have held for longer on that 70%, but because I reactivated the turbo, it's probably just ramped down even further just due to the heat the flashlight was produced. Here's another ceiling bounce test, and it's on 35% and really good output results here. I mean, just sustained output, ran that test for 16 minutes, and it lasted pretty much on that same 35% and sort of hovered up and down very, very slightly, but pretty much maintained its output. Here are some tests I ran with my Opal Lightmaster Pro, and on 100%, I managed to get 672 meters of throw from this LED, really quite amazing. Considering that the actual die surface is so large and when you're using a large LED like this, it can be difficult to focus it. And yeah, I guess the larger reflector that you get with the L21B does allow for that. If it had a smaller reflector, I mean, if this was in the M21B, probably wouldn't be able to throw anywhere near as far. I'd be surprised if we even got 400 meters but yeah i think at the end of the day you know this type of reflector suits these larger leds much more you can see as well on the 35 percent mode still throws over 400 meters 10 percent over 200 meters color rendering index was above 70 so 71 to 72 and cct was between 6100 and 7100 and it just increases slowly as you ramp that flashlight up to 100%. The light produces a large intense hotspot. There's also lots of spills so you can see what's coming up closer to you. And I did notice also some slight greenness. This is me being nitpicky, but just more in the edges of the bean. It's not really too noticeable. So some other considerations, there's no onboard charging or battery included, but you can add a battery in the convoy store for a few dollars. The battery has to be charged outside of the flashlight, so you also have to get in a separate battery charger. The head is also quite heavy due to the large reflector, so as you can see, it doesn't really, the balancing point's about here, I suppose, just where that part of the, the uh, cutouts are on the head. But yeah, holding it down the back, it does feel definitely more weighted towards the front, and yeah, at the end of the day, has a large reflector, so that's one of the caveats. No way you're gonna be able to fit these into your jeans pocket, but you will be able to fit it into a jacket pocket. Another thing to keep in mind as well is if you're mounting this flashlight, there is no spring on the head, so you won't have that extra shock resistance. Same thing as, you know, in terms of if you drop the flashlight accidentally, it could potentially damage the driver, okay, due to the transfer, uh, transfer of force when you drop it. Overall, I think this is the perfect budget-friendly, large, throwy sort of flashlight. It's got a practical beam and spill. I mean, at $38, I really wonder how Simon does it. So if you're interested in getting one of these, I've left a link in the description. It's a non-affiliate link. So go ahead and check it out. I'm sure I might have missed out a few things in this video. So just let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, do me a favor, click the like button because it helps me to get it out to more people. Finally, if you want to see me make more reviews, make sure you subscribe. Okay, I've got the Convoy L21B with the XHP 70.3 high, and this is on turbo, or 100%. And 
I mean, this is just so easily reaching right, right to the end. Simply 200 meters to the back. Even to the tree right on the other side, I can still see it right in the clearing. It's difficult to see there on the camera, but there is a tree far further back in the distance. Okay, this is on the lowest mode. Second mode. Third. The third mode is a pretty useful sort of mode. You can see here it hits all these trees to the right and even to the center of that field. Um, the back of it as well, it's still hitting those trees right at the back. Anything closer is quite easy. Like that. Four. Really impressed with how large that hotspot is as well. Tons of spill. Lots and lots of spill. And four just sustains as long as you want, really. And uh, turbo. Well, I keep calling it turbo, but it's 100%. Wow. It's a serious, serious hotspot there. And uh, lots of spill. That's what I love about this LED. Kind of the best of both worlds. heaps of visibility as well sometimes you get those throwers that have just a tiny little hot spot and it's difficult to see what's going on but with this there's no issues here really like a searchlight not exactly pocketable I mean if you have a jacket pocket like I have I'm wearing a jacket at the moment fitting that but definitely jeans pocket you're gonna have an issue Need a holster or something like that. The head's just a bit too large. And it's still pretty much holding. Um, it's kind of cold out here tonight, but I don't see it ramping down. Maybe slightly, but really not much of a much of a difference really. Convoy L21B with the XHP 70.3. Bunch of things here. You can see some golpers. Okay. A couple of smaller, lighter bits of the fence over there, but there's a little building there and a larger one at the back that the light's able to reach quite easily. to those trees, not an issue at all. Alright, so I've got the Convoy L21B with the XHP 70.3 high. I've actually had to turn down the ISO because it's just so bright and no issues at all hitting right through to the back. Look at that, amazing. Just cycle through the different modes. That's the first mode, second mode. Second mode still reaches kind of, third definitely. That is uh, quite good I mean I've just set this to the five mode option there different modes you can select fourth here groupings you can select I mean so fourth 
mode in this grouping and that's the fifth mode the 100% mode really 100% visibility there <laughs> it's too much even convoy L21B with the XHP 70.3 high So even on the third mode it's pretty pretty decent. Fourth mode. This is 30% output. And 100% uh, output. Convoy L21B with the XHP 70.3 high. Wow. Okay. This is some decent, really decent throw. Lots of flood as well. Just blowing the camera out. Up close. All the way to the end, oh, even to the cars on the other end of this alleyway. And it's the spill. Amazing flashlight. L21B, the XHP 70.3 high. It's on the highest mode, 100%. all the way to the end.